how to use type with Flame Painter 4. Now, Flame Painter 4 doesn't come with a type feature. So there is a workaround. Now you can use other applications such as Inkscape, Affinity Designer, Illustrator in this case, plus other tools. Now, once you've actually done that, just create some type. But the key thing is, I'm just gonna set the typeface for that, is to go to the object and expand. So you can expand it and it's an outline. Now, also within the file and save command, there is an option for the SVG file to be saved with the text as an outline. So you don't really need to do that, but I like to do it beforehand because I might manipulate the type a bit more as well. So file and save as, and use the SVG format, scalable vector format, and then just give it a name and save. Now you can see convert to outline. So there's that option there. So it would do it for you anyway, the convert. Right, click OK. Now go to Flame Painter 4. And once you're in there, go to File and Import. And select the file. Click Open. Right, once you've actually got that, you can see the outline there. You can rotate it using the Transform tool, scale it as well, and just click OK once you're happy with that. Now, it'll say Vector Layers or Bitmap Layer. Go for the Vector Layers. What you want is Vector Layers. So click that. Yeah, just click that. Now, you'll see you've got three layers. And I'm just going to go down to one of those. Just going to click there. Yeah. Now, what you'll see, you've got that design. That's applied with the current brush. But you can manipulate it. You can just go over to other brushes, select that. Now, it doesn't work. You think, ah, what's wrong? Well, just go over to the edit vector layer. That's the key thing. Go to that, click that, and then the points are available. And now you can go to the brushes. So you can just select on a brush and you can change that, manipulate that in numerous ways. There's various tools in the edit path. You can transform the design. Just go to the fourth option in the edit path and just transform that. You can also just transform it as just as a normal layer as well. And you can manipulate the Design just by tweaking, by transforming it there. Now, personally, I think it's reasonably effective, but I prefer to actually change the settings. That's probably an easy way. Now, what you can also do, like I so say, you can actually just go to the normal transform tool there, just there, click the transform over in the tools and find that in the window menu. And you can rotate, scale, drag, as long as you click OK at the end of it. So you actually do the actual transformation. Click OK. Right, you can see the design there. Now what you can do, you can actually go and as long as the edit vector part is selected, what you can do, just go and apply a brush. So I'm just going to go to another brush, click that. And that will work for the current layer that you've selected. So I'm just going to go for the Y now. Click there, and you can see the design's been. Now, you can also manipulate the various settings using the size, blending, pasty. You can go to the brush creator, just manipulate that in many ways. You can also change the gradient, just go to the palette, change the gradient, change the color, set to image, etc., etc. There's a whole range of different options depending on the brush selected. So you can just apply all kinds of brushes to create all kinds of amazing type designs. Now, the type is not editable. Obviously, you'd have to go back into Illustrator, create some new type, and import that back in. It's a slight workaround, obviously. I hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe, and also please add some comments. Always great to hear. Thank you much.